Hello Zebra Herd, welcome back to Animal Crossing New Horizons. Today, we're enjoying more of the brand new 2.0 update with the launch of Brewster's Cafe. We've waited the full day for it to be done with construction. We have mail, we have a lot of stuff going on. So let's take a look inside. So first off, we have a bunch of Nook shopping stuff, all the uh, different Mario stuff. This should be the last of that, which is pretty exciting. It's getting that all out of the way, is fun to see. And then we also have some Happy Home Economy stuff and then something from Gigi, so pretty cool. We got a rank A this time. And let's see from Gigi. Is there anything better than receiving a letter from someone out of the blue? I think not. It makes my heart pitter patter with excitement. I hope this letter has done the same for you. Much love, Gigi. <laughs> Thank you, Gigi. So with that being said, we are going to uh, run over this way because we did also get a gyroid. <laughs> And there it is, nice and grown. Look, I dug up a dutoid, cool. And we even have a bunch of pumpkins waiting for us, which I haven't really had the time to water recently, so it's only singular pumpkins. A bit of a letdown, but I do have some plans anyways. Oh my gosh, okay, things are pretty full here. I might, before I do any of that, I might wanna go ahead and organize some of the inventory we already have. But first we could check out that gyroid a little bit, but then we definitely wanna go over to Brewster's Cafe, take a look at some stuff there. There's a whole slew of things to do. Got the fossils waiting for me. I forgot what we had left for ourselves for the following day. <laughs> Quite a lot. Sometimes you need that. You can't get around to everything, so you save it for the tomorrow version of yourself, and then tomorrow version of yourself is even busier than you thought. Okay, so. Let's put this down. I gotta turn that stove off. Probably really hot in here. There you go. Uh, I like it. <laughs> so, so far, we got our three gyroids here, putting on a little show. Now these we can't put in the ground or put in our storage, but we can put them in the ground. Let's also put this gothic mirror in storage. We'll stow away whatever ingredients we have for the time being. If you wanna make some stuff with it later, that'd be great. But for right now, my goal is just to put it in storage. Uh, and then over this way, same thing with all this stuff. We got the handheld lantern, which is for one of the seasonal events. We have the flooring, all this stuff from the Mario stuff. Eventually, I don't know when, but I want to have an episode where we do go and showcase all that. That'll be fun. But we have some other things to focus on in the meantime. Like Brewster's Cafe is the main thing for me today, so definitely gonna be working on that. But I'm thinking with all these carrot starts that we have, we have so many of them, the sprouts, I wanna go and start on our uppermost level on our island. Uh, we haven't done too much with that area. I wanted to make that sort of like a farming mountain or something like that. That's where we could put all of our pumpkins, our carrots, all that kind of stuff. I think that'd be a great idea. So we'll have those all there for now. I think I can put this away as well. But let me, uh... oh, I can hold it. Oh, fancy. That's cool. I like it. Uh, for right now, I'm gonna put it away and put it in storage. Very cool. Okay, so back out. We'll also wanna bring our fossils that we have here with us when we go see Blathers and Brewster, but we might as well go and get the other fossils first. It might be a bit more efficient for us. And we gotta get the pumpkin still. So there's a bunch to do, and I am more than happy to start working on it. Okay, so I got all that figured out, maybe we'll order that a bit later. But that's where I was hoping the new ordinance would help me out a little bit. But yeah, before we go and deal with seeing Brewster and everything, I just want to do a quick run around the town. I don't think any of our fruit's grown in. I don't know if I've heard this song from Animal Crossing before. Hi there, Stu. Maybe give him a pumpkin. We have a lot of pumpkins at this point. Our morning's neat. Yes, they are. Uh, here's a gift. Because we have so many pumpkins. Our inventory is full again, so maybe I should just go and get these in there. Um. An orange pumpkin? Super big pl and plump, too. Thanks for the pumpkin power. You can never have too many of these. They're good for all sorts of stuff. I was thinking about what to give you in a uh, thanks, but your pockets are full of all kinds of things. Some of them might even be alive things? Don't sweat it. I'll just send it to your house later, Rue. Okay, that's nice. Okay, so, um, that's good because our inventory is very packed right now. Try to figure out what should we do first in what order to make the most of that. I guess I should just go to, um, Blathers, go ahead and get these fossils categorized, sold, all that kind of stuff. And then maybe we'll talk to Brewster and work on our other daily stuff. I'm very bad at planning, apparently. <laughs> it's okay. Hi, Blathers. Ooh, ooh. Oh dear, pardon me. It is in Zebra. Today, at long, long last, the cafe is open for business here in Stripes Museum. And I'll possibly thank you enough for bringing Brewster to us, but I should at the very least try. <clears throat> From the end of my break to the furthest tips of my tail feathers, thank you, Zebra. Now I imagine you'd like to know where the cafe is. Up the stairs and to the left. 
You can't miss it. Oh, and just like our museum, the cafe is open and Brewster is eager to serve. At any time, day or night. So whether it's for the exhibits or for a perfect cup of coffee, please enjoy a visit to our museum. Okay, awesome. So in the meantime, let's assess these fossils. We have six of them waiting for us here, and then I'll probably be able to find a good couple more throughout today's episode. So hopefully we we'll make a good profit from that. We are still very hard at work at paying our um, loans and stuff and all sorts of other things. Okay, so with that done, I'm going to run out and sell these and then we'll be right back to go check out Brewster's Cafe. Okay, I'm back, so let's get up this way. As you can see, there's a cute little sign too. The Roost, open 24 seven. How nice is that? So let's go into here and check out The Roost. Whoa. I like it, wow, what a relaxing atmosphere. Hey there, buddy. Uh, I guess we go up here to make my order. Thanks for passing that message on. Back on that remote island. You ever find yourself in need of a cup of coffee? Just swing on by. Well, that's exactly what I'm here for. Oh, do I not do that here? <laughs> a little bit of an awkward fellow, he doesn't talk too much. Coffee's 200 bells, care for a cup? Yes, please, 200 it sounds like a plenty fine deal to me. Sure. So as you can see, oh, this is so adorable. Carefully pours the coffee in there. Such a detailed little environment, I love it. Gently pushes it over. Here you go, one cup of the house special. Drink up and enjoy. Got it, whoa, that is hot coffee, we gotta be careful. Oh, but we like it. Yes! I'm blissing out on this coffee right now. The scent alone is enough to wake me up. Cool, <laughs> thank you very much. All right, now he's cleaning the dish. That was adorable, I love it. So, what's going on here? First off, we can do Nook Miles, uh, visit the Roost Coffee for a coffee break. Very nice, so we got uh, some extra miles right there. And um, got some other stuff here, you know, like cooking up a storm, talk to your neighbors. We'll be working on all of that, of course. But what else is going on around here? I don't really know if there is too much, but I do see that little amiibo fun. I'm guessing maybe we could use the amiibos to call in and sort of have a coffee with somebody. That'd be really cool. So I'm gonna grab the amiibo card so I can try this. Hello, you've reached the amiibo call center. You can use an Animal Crossing character's amiibo to invite them to the roost. Would you like to invite someone now? Yes. Okay, so let me go grab a card and we'll invite somebody over. Okay, so I don't know if this will work, but I have a card for Rossetti. Of course, I don't know if he's even in this game. Did that work? This is the amiibo for Rossetti. Are you sure you'll have to contact this customer? Absolutely, yes I am. Please wait while we process your request. I don't have every of the amiibo cards, but we have a good amount. I know they just released some new ones, but they immediately sold out, so I wasn't able to get any, but hopefully more become available soon so I can try those. Uh, thank you for waiting, we've contacted Rossetti. Cool. The customer contact will be here shortly. Please wait inside for their arrival. Awesome, so we can just invite anybody to a little coffee break. Oh, here he is. <laughs> so you you were the one who called me? Well, I made it. May as well try to enjoy myself. All right, can I sit with them? I don't think I'll ever get tired of Brewster's coffee. Just swing in after lunch and grab some to go. Weird for that you'd say that because I don't think I've ever seen him on our town. Back in the old days, it was pretty much my job to be angry all the time. It's a tough habit to break. Ah, oh, so he's trying not to be angry anymore. So if you don't know, if you haven't played the other Animal Crossing games, where he said he was a character that would, he was a little mole, and he'd pop out of the ground and be really angry at you if you didn't save your game. If you forgot to save the game and closed it, the game would typically try to save for you, and he'd pop up like, hey, you need to remember to save and he would really lecture you on it. And that was his job. That's why his name's Rossetti, if you reset the game, you know? These days, I try to watch my temper. Being angry is stressful, and stress ain't good for you, not at all. My new job really helps, though. Some days are almost relaxing. I wonder what his new job is. I love his little legs. Usually I'm a counter seat kind of mole, but taking it easy at a table once in a while is good too. This is so cute. I wonder what his new job is though. I hope he talks more about it. Got an older brother who works with me. I love him, but he just yaks and yaks and yaks all day long. 
Try to, I like to slip out when he's not looking and get a snack or something. Gotta tell you, quiet's real nice. My old job had me supervising all year long. Never got any breaks or vacation time. It was hard on me. Now I only have to do work when call comes in. It's a lot less stressful. That's cool. Back in the old days, it was pretty much my job to be at. Okay, yeah, so it looks like he started to repeat himself, so he might have heard everything. But I'm really glad. It seems like he's made some changes to his life that are helping him for the better. I don't know the guitar to Bruce's car. I forgot to swing. Yeah, okay. So. Yep, that's everything. So, we'll be done there. That is so cute. I'm so glad we got to catch up with Rossetti. Very cool guy. Okay, so talking to him outside of the seat doesn't really change much. All right then, Rossetti, Brewster, been great catching up with you. I'm sure we'll come in every once in a while for another coffee. I don't know if that really does anything to the gameplay drinking coffee, but it's at least a nice little thing to do. You know, just sit there and meet somebody. But in the meantime, we're gonna head out. We have plenty of things I wanna do in today's episode. Like I said before, I wanna start that little mountain uh, patch. Maybe we'll have to excavate a little bit. And if I wanna get that done, I should probably clear out some other things, like put all these pumpkins away. I should get the fossils. I should clear out that area. There's a, there's a lot we need to do, for sure. <laughs> Okay, so I know that one of the first fossils we can find, I ran past it earlier, is actually right by uh, Timmy and Tommy, so we'll want to grab this real fast, if the controller will let me. Nope, come on. That's silly. There we go. So here's the first of at least, you know, four. So yeah, my main goal right now, run around, grab these. If I see any villagers, maybe stop to talk to them, because that's one of our Daily Nook Miles. Also, if we can find the message in a bottle, that's probably a good thing to grab, so. Looking around for that real quick. Not around here. We've already talked to Stu, so I don't think he counts. We could try for the money rock in a bit, but I think that's also something I can save. Oh yeah, we do have a money tree growing in over that way. I guess we can get another one. We are getting a bit crowded over here though, so I think it might be time to, you know, if I, if I get a tree, I need to knock another one over. Oh no, that's not what I wanted. And I think I hear something flying around, so we'll try to get that soon. But in the, no, in the meantime, put that there. And I wanna dig this one up so I don't actually throw the money in there. And then let's try this out. So what I do is I take out 10,000 and I bury that in the hole. Awesome. So hopefully we'll be making some major cash from that soon enough. And I do see this mushroom. Talk to Apple a little bit. Hi, Apple. Oh my gosh, it's Zebra. I wanna chat. Hi, I lost my voice. I was trying to be a heavy metal singer instead of a pop star. I'm so not metal. <laughs> well, you know, you gotta try things out every once in a while, but it's good to, you know, be safe. Oh, hey. I totally forgot about you. It's Daisy May. Good morning. You're here to start your Sunday office and fresh turnips? I've got turnips of plenty fresh from jo So Joanne's stock market. You want to buy them for 97 bells each? I don't think that's a bad price. I might consider it. I totally forgot about the ball market. So, yeah, I guess I buy them today and then I can sell them. Uh, hmm. You know what? I'll go and buy some. Buy some bundles of 10. I will buy, you know, we'll buy a good 50. I think that'd be fine. Cause it's only 5,000 bucks, it's not too much. You can even go something, I don't even mind doubling that. Going for 100, 10,000 bells isn't too much for us at this point. And if we could even make, you know, 1.5 times profit, I mean, that only jumps us from like 9,000 bells to like a little under 15,000. So it's not a huge profit, but it's something. All right, so 100 turnips, because I'm pretty sure that's cheaper than what we usually see. But if it isn't, it's been such a long time since I've done this, I just totally forgot about Daisy Mai and most of the turnip stuff. Okay, so when will they arrive? Did they just show up now? Yeah, okay, I didn't know if they like showed up in the mail. Turnips, turnips, watch them rise. Try to earn a nice surprise. Okay, so I might just keep those in my inventory. Yeah, we have 100 turnips right there. Okay, and I also need to put away this. I like, I can consider buying more later, but I just don't remember what they typically go for, so I just wanna hold on. Oh, we got uh, Biff over here. Hey, Biff. Hey, RNZ, how you been, Squirt? Let's talk. It's a great day for some cross-training. 
deleted it. And that should be Nook Miles, yep. So, right up here, get times five on this, this will be a thousand, pretty easily. And then some other stuff, we gotta pick up these mushrooms, which, you know, plan on doing anyways. And here is a fossil waiting for us, pretty good. And what else do we got going on around here? Any other fossils for now? I do see another mushroom. I'll grab that. Oh, a couple of them actually. How's our inventory looking? We're, we're filling up, but it's fine. So there is that done. And it's always good to earn more miles because the more miles we earn, eventually if we do get everything you could possibly get with miles, you know, we still can exchange them for just straight up bells. That is something I want to do eventually for sure. So, still worth participating in and doing. We go in here, I wonder if Fred is here today. Doesn't look like it. I mean, soon enough if we work on Harvey's Island, we might not even have to worry about it, so that'd be nice. But uh, looking around a little bit. Still just trying to hunt down more fossils. Also message in a bottle, that's here, it's not. That's okay, we'll find it eventually. No fossils around here, so I think we're good to keep moving. Okay, so heading up this way, there is a fourth fossil. I don't know if there'll be any more, because typically there's at least four, but sometimes there's more. From my experience, maybe there's always five and sometimes I just miss it, but I don't think that's the case. Still haven't found that message in a bottle. I don't know if I've passed it or not, or if it's just way down here. Doesn't look like it. So I'll have to run around a bit more later for it. But, you know, no matter what, just still just run around. We're making progress and that's good. And I doubt this is the uh, money rock, but if we're here and we found most of the fossils, might as well try for it. Yep, okay, this is just gonna be iron nuggets and clay. I don't think I'll even pick up the rocks this time, just so I can save on inventory space. There we go. Hmm. See, so yeah, no fossil down here, it's looking like. See, so yeah, we just have to go up here. I do want to take a quick look around. Maybe we could even square this area out a bit more with landscaping. That might be a good idea. Even then, though, there seems to be plenty of space. I probably just want to maybe start about here and then just go, or maybe even just keep this area. If we can keep this area and go all the way down. I could definitely maybe plot out some extra land over here too. But even with what we have here, this is looking like a great starting space. So yeah, I think we'll work on that once I clear out my inventory a bit more. I'll find the message in the bottle, we'll get our fossils assessed, and then we're good to start doing that. Whoa, what is this? I picked up a lost item. Should probably re reunite it with its owner. I wonder who that is for. I feel like we've run into a lost item before, but it's definitely been a while. So we'll see who's home. I don't know if Sally's home at the moment. Looks like it. So, uh. Let's go say hi to her. And we'll keep working from there. It's definitely been a while since I've last done this. Hi, Sally. I hope you'd stop by, Nutmeg. You dropped this? Maybe, what is it? It is a lost item. I'm sorry, but this isn't mine. Now that I think about it, this could belong to Apple. All right, well, we'll go try to talk to Apple then. See you, Sally. Okay, well, I looked and looked and looked and could not find Apple anywhere else. She's probably in one of the buildings. Maybe she's uh, shopping for clothes or something. Maybe I'll peek, poke my head in there real fast, but I don't know. That's always a weird thing. I wish, oh, they're not even open right now. What time is it? Okay, it's 8.52, yeah, okay. Um. Yeah, I, I feel like, I really wish there was a way just to know where they are. I don't really like how it's random. You just don't know and you just have to scour every inch of your island. Why does that have to be that way? <laughs> it doesn't. They just made it that way for some reason. Anyways, we are going to assess the fossils that we have here so that we can get to selling them. We already have some good money. We made 20,000 from the last set of fossils. So hopefully we make another 20,000 from these, and then I might just deposit those as soon as I can. Uh, but for now, that's all I need from Blathers probably for today. I doubt we'll run into any new fish or bugs or anything. But yeah, you know, I'm slowly chipping through everything. It just takes time, doesn't it? It just takes a lot of time. 
So we're running down here. Let's sell this stuff, and we should be good to go with excavating for the farm area. Hi guys. Oh, we haven't really checked out what's in the shop today, so now it might be a good time to do that. Okay, so I am offering these four things. They are going to give me 90,500 bells, so just about 20,000. Pretty good. And what do we have here? So we have a nice plant. This is a cypress plant. We definitely have one of these. I think I just got one last episode. Uh, I'll pass. Over here, we have a paper lantern. That's pretty cool, but I don't think it's anything I need. Now, what in the world is this thing? Looks like something on a Metroid. <laughs> Seems like you're interested in science, Pod. These are unlimited supplies, so active. you're serious. 95,000 bells, gonna take a pass. Pretty interesting though, right? Then over here, a dress up doll. That's cute, uh, but I don't think I need it. But I think we've seen this uh, magic ball and stuff. Don't think there's anything new in here that we need exactly. Yeah, not really. Okay, so we'll leave all that and we are going to just uh, head out for now. We do get some milk malzo for selling stuff and that's always good to grab. Okay then, so let's go back up there so we can start on our farm. Okay, so now that we're up here, the first thing I probably wanna do is just clear out a space so that I can start planting some of the carrots because they take up so much inventory space. So I'm thinking that we'll just start right about here. So I'll probably need to chop down these three trees to my left just to get started. So I'll work with this pine tree over here. And I think, did these only give, no, okay, I was gonna say, did the pine trees only give dark wood? Not the case, though. So now that we've gotten all that, I can pick all this up. Should be good. A couple more over this way. And we'll get our shovel out. And yeah, that doesn't get me anything in my inventory, does it? It does not. Still have that journal in my inventory just in case we run by Apple. Cause I just don't know where she is. I'm gonna go ahead and dig all that up. And then, how do we wanna do this? I think we'll just get to planting right now. So, basically, I wanted to have some space cause we'll, we'll make a path and stuff. Cause I would like to make this area, along with the rest of the island, pretty. That's sort of my thing, I'm, I'm okay. It's gonna put it right where I was standing, which actually isn't what I wanted. I didn't realize, okay, it would do that. I wish there was a faster way to do this. I mean, maybe there is and I'm just not aware of it, but as far as I understand, there's not. Um, what if I were to face outward like this and I keep planting them? There we go. Okay, that's a little bit better. Oh, here we go. That's exactly what I wanted. Perfect. So if I stand like this, now we're getting a little more efficient. But yeah, I, I, that's sort of the thing I've always been not so good with with Animal Crossing games. That one has two. Some of these already have carrots in them. Okay, nice. But is planning out my town, making it all look nice, making it organized and succinct, I've never been good with. I've always tried my best, of course, but these just haven't been done sometimes. So what happens if I just bury the carrot? Will that make another start? Because I would like to make an even amount of carrots here. Uh. No, you can't bury it. Okay, so these are all the carrots we have for the time being. It's a little lopsided, but we're gonna be going back out with Captain later today and hopefully we can find some more. That'd be nice. But in the meantime, if I could uh, get my watering can, start doing this. Because I feel like my issue with Animal Crossing in games like these isn't my lack of creativity, but my lack of managing my creativity. I feel like, in general, my creative pursuits are very hectic and uh, scattered. And that's just usually how I make things, either it be videos or art of any kind, when I draw or when I do anything like that. I usually just throw a lot of stuff at the, the wall and see what sticks and then I build off of that, right? And the hard part with Animal Crossing is there's so much to do all the time, it's very hard to find time to actually do that and it takes so many resources to do that, you know? If I wanna to try to put a bridge here or do something there, it takes so much money in the game that it doesn't feel like a good idea to experiment sometimes. So I do find myself pretty hesitant. 
at times of things like that. But I think that as we get farther in the game and get maybe more of the core things figured out, like uh, you know, paying off our mortgages and stuff, uh, that would be pretty good for you know giving me more space to experiment with other things. That way we have some extra cash to uh, put towards an extra bridge or something like that. Because right now all I have is what I need. I have all the slopes for all the platforms we need to get up to. We have bridges across each river just to make things slightly easier, but I don't have anything excess, anything more for convenience which is not a permanent thing. I, I wanna get those things eventually. How's our inventory? Oh, we have plenty of space. It's sort of a shame because these take up uh, an entire slot. And I don't really need these, so I'm probably gonna end up selling them. Which has probably been a long time coming now that I think about it, but. The one thing is I do wanna move the pumpkin starts up here as well, so I will wanna sort of separate everything. So I probably will wanna make I think this row of three of them is fine if we want to do the same thing with the pumpkins. I'll have to clear out some space a little bit more. So knocking on this tree and the tree right next to it is probably a good idea. If you get some milk miles for that, so might as well grab it. We're still looking for the money rock. I can't forget about that. Okay, refresh with some group stretching. I don't know if that's you know worth going out of my way for right now, but for an extra 150 miles, we should do it sooner or later. But in the meantime, gonna get that. Oh gosh. I will patch up all these holes soon enough. I think if you leave them for long enough, like if you leave them for the next day, they sort of patch up on their own. And we got a couple more of these. I would like to get rid of these now, just for the efficiency of it. But I think for right now, we'll just build left onward for the, the farm. We can worry about the rest later. Like this little patch, I don't think we need that space just yet, so it might be worth saving for something else. We have a nice pond here, maybe we could build sort of like a little relaxing area. I know there are some things, like uh, in the front of our house we have a little wheelbarrow. We don't really need that there, so maybe we could move that up here for some decoration. Sort of serves as something, uh, I guess, related to farming. A wheelbarrow, you definitely need that. Okay, now my pockets are full. Uh, so we'll just bury this now. So we'll come back with more inventory space. I'll definitely sell off a bunch of this and that'll be a good first step. Okay, so I made a similar patch right here of uh, pumpkins. I think I'm gonna keep it like that because how many is this? One, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three. So this is 18 pumpkins and will be 18 carrots. I think that's enough. I don't really know if we need too much more and I still have a ton. I have a ton more in my inventory. I still have a ton more in my, uh, what's it called? the uh, the four down by our house. So I'm thinking of just selling those off for now, to sort of leave that as it is. You know, we've done a lot. We have a ton of pumpkins at this point, so I don't think we need too much more than that. It'll help us save space, and it'll hopefully make us some money back too. I don't really know what more we need pumpkins for, so I might even end up selling some of those, but I figure I can hold on until they're at least out of season a bit, um, and then we can consider it. But as you can see, I've been doing a lot of digging today. I'm sure my shovel is about to give in. Okay, so I was about to sell some pumpkin sprouts and also get a new shovel when I, I found this present here. So let's go ahead and grab this. And what will this have for us? Where did that guy right here? This is simple accent socks. I don't know if we'll be able to see these too much right now. Not really. Uh, where are they? Simple accent socks. Interesting. Uh, I think I'll keep with our striped socks, but cool to know. All right, so into the shop we go. We'll see how much these pumpkin sprouts sell for then. I think I'm gonna sell everything but the colored ones. We can keep those just in case we need a specific color of pumpkin at some point. I don't know how the the uh, gardening and the farming works. Will there be a point in time where the carrots will stop growing because the season is over? And same thing with the pumpkins, I'm not really sure. If you guys know, feel free to let me know. But these are all medium, I checked them all already. I don't know if we've planted any large ones, but I haven't seen any smalls either. So we're just gonna confirm with this. 1800 pals, it's not a ton, but it's space being taken up, so it's like I'd rather just sort of go with it, because you can't put these away. That's sort of the annoying thing about them, is that there's you just can't put them away. And I was about to sell more starts, and look what we found. We found uh, another present. I think this one will have just bells in it. No, it has the effects rack. Whoa, that's cool. So that'll be good for the music room. I'm pretty sure that's like audio effects track. 
So we'll, we'll keep that in mind. It, it's pink, which I don't think mixes with most of the colors we have in there, but I'm pretty sure we could still customize the color. So we'll keep that in mind for right now though. And so what we have here, I wanna sell. Okay, we are offering all, no, not the shovel, all of these pumpkins. And I think that's it for now. Okay, a thousand bells. Once again, it's not a ton, but it's something. So yeah, that's basically the start of the farm. I know it's not a ton, but it gets them sort of in the location I need them. So we can work on making it prettier and more functional as we move forward. And that'll be a lot of fun. But for right now, I wanna go organize my inventory a bit and we'll go on a Cap'n Island adventure so that hopefully we can find even more vegetables to grow. All right, so we've just arrived on an island and I'm already seeing oranges, which is a bit disappointing. Uh, we'll leave those. I mean, I guess I could shake them up for some extra stuff, but mostly we'll focus on co coconuts and stuff, but we do get some Nook Miles. What were that? What was that for? Set sail for adventure. Rardems and exciting adventures are yours when you head on a special tour with a veteran sailor. Yes, yes. So we got three out of three there. So next time, next event is 10 of them. That's pretty cool. I mean, hopefully we find some good stuff so it motivates me to go more often. We've been going each day, of course, since it's released, but we will want to keep that up. That might take time. Okay, so yeah, let's shake this up over here. And I guess we'll grab the oranges. I mean, they stack, so it's probably worth it. Now, these actually didn't sell for too much, so I think we'll focus our inventory on other things before we do that. I'll probably actually worry more about fishing because that'll give us more recipes and stuff. And that'll be good, because that's another big reason why we want to farm so much, is to get those recipes. So definitely worth working on. But for now, I'm just going to uh, grab some of the weeds as well, because the weeds stack up to 100. We can sell them for a decent amount, considering, uh, you know, what they are, to Leaf whenever he shows up. And we, we're sort of build it, starting to build up quite a collection for Leaf, so hopefully he appreciates what we have whenever we do see him. But that's another thing, is that we can get him set up at Harvey's Island, and I do see a message in a bottle over there. Hopefully that gives us a new cooking recipe. I see a tiny little fish over there. That has me curious. Uh, but let's check out our message in a bottle so we can just immediately clear the slot. To the lucky owner of a free bottle, I was cleaning my house and found this old DIY recipe I, I thought up. Whoever you are, I hope you're in the mood to craft up a brainstorm. Don't tell any nobody else about this. Ironwood table, which we already know, so I guess we'll sell that one. <laughs> Interesting now, interesting. So in the meantime, I do see this little fish. I don't know if we've actually caught this one. It's probably an anchovy. I don't know why I can't reel from there. That's a little too far. Hmm. Maybe this isn't worth worrying about right now. There we go, that has to get his attention, right? There we go. Come on. And is it an anchovy? Oh, it's a little seahorse. I love this guy. All right, well, we've already definitely donated that, but it's good to see it. I haven't seen the seahorse in a while. I didn't even realize this was sort of the time of year for them. But let's just keep cleaning up this island and we'll see what we get out of it. Okay, so I do see a little spot over here that'll very likely be a new gyroid, which is always exciting. I wanna find as many gyroids as I can. Build up that little collection. Uh, in the meantime, let's go ahead and vault over this way. We'll grab some of these weeds. I think these are the last weeds I wanted to grab. If we don't get all of them, it's not the end of the world. It's one of the clear of the not. Cause that gave us 39. And I think he gives us 20 bells each. That's already a decent chunk. I think that's already 800 bells. All in one slot, that's a pretty good pickup. Uh, look, I dug up a gyroid fragment. Pretty good. So yeah, is there anything else I wanna scrounge up here? I don't think so. So I think we're good just to go fishing. Unless we wanna hit some of these rocks, which I don't know if the rocks are really gonna give us anything worthwhile anyway. So I think we'll just get to fishing. Remember our goal is to catch a certain amount of fish without ever making a mistake. We're a really far ways away from that. So we'll see how this ends up going. Oh, I think somebody saw that. One of these two. I guess we're about to find out. Oh, here we go, here we go. Oh, right away, okay. Come on, and that is a sea bass. Nothing to write home about, but our black bass, actually. But you know, we got it out of the way, pretty cool. 
Up this way, will we find another seahorse or maybe something totally different? Oh, let's try that again. There we go. Don't tell me he doesn't see that one. <laughs> this guy's picky. I don't know if we'll catch a whole inventory worth of fish, but I do wanna maybe catch around like five or six fish just to see if we get any extra cooking recipes. This is being so silly that I, I just can't get it to go the way I want it to. All right. There we go. And that's another seahorse for us. Which I'm, I'm pretty sure these sell pretty decently. We can always hope. Maybe it's worth focusing on river fish. Because I feel like angling those uppers is a little bit easier to look at all these guys. If only we could cast multiple at once. Well, there'd be a fishing update, right? <laughs> That'd be fun. Or we could just catch multiple fish all at the same time. There we go. And that is gonna be another black bass. So, so far, nothing to write home about like I said before, nothing keeping us on the edge of our seat. That's always a shame. Hmm. Definitely wanna go for this guy, cause this guy looked a little bit bigger than the black bass, so I'm hoping this is something different. Ready, there. Right in front of him, come on buddy. Look a little to your left. You're silly, you're very silly. Right here, come on, it's right in front of him. There we go, and this is, whoa, okay, here we go. Yes, I got a sturgeon. Wonder if I can perform sturgery. Okay, we'll get a new fish and quite the fish indeed, the sturgeon, exciting. All right, that's what we wanna see, big fish like that. Always fun to catch. That's what we go to these islands for, for more uncommon stuff. So I'm glad it's popping up like that. A tiny little thing, most likely another seahorse, but we're gonna find out. Whoop. Oh, right away, I almost was too late. It's a rock. All right, I think that's, I think that's the Animal Crossing universe telling me to wrap it up. We'll catch a fish if it's, you know, near us, I think. Do you see that? Uh, maybe? I don't wanna pull away just in case he did. Oh, there we go, there we go, definitely. Well, right away, right away. And it's a can. Okay, yep, we're, we're done, we're finished. We got our one rare fish, we're out of here. <laughs> okay, so yeah, we are ready to go home, and I think that, uh, yep, no returning here, I'm, I'm aware of that. We are gonna head home, we will donate that one fish, we'll sell the rest, and be all done for today. Should be good. Okay, so we're back now. I wanted to sort of run down, and I also think I have like a DIY recipe to sell. Also, before we finish up, is Apple around? Apple is still not in her home, so she's gotta be somewhere, wherever that place may be. Oh, here she is. Okay, I have your journal. Thanks for stopping by to say hi. You lose this? Let me see. Uh, right over this way. This is the autograph book I lost. Thank you so much. This thing's been missing forever. I think it, this deserves a totally fab reward. Oh wow, thank you. So get a piece of clothing for that. How cool is this? It's a business suit coat. Hope you like it. All right, so let's take a look at our business suit coat. Oh wow, very fancy. Nice pink tie and everything. Definitely put that in our wardrobe for later. So the one thing actually I haven't done still is look for the uh, golden rock or the money rock. So hopefully it's not this one. I'll pick up the iron nuggets, but I think most of this other stuff, I don't know if it'll disappear if I leave it. It probably won't, so maybe I should just go for it. Okay, so I'll have to look around for that, but then we can sell our stuff. Okay, so luckily in the second rock I found it. That's good. Just so gonna make some money here real fast. Excellent. So that should jump us over 50,000 into 60,000. Almost. Almost. There it is. 62,460. So we'll definitely be donating that, some of that in a moment. Once I buff my funds. So sell everything but the sturgeon. I need to donate that. I'll feel very silly if I forget to donate it. Okay, so running over here. Hi, Timmy and Tommy. So I wanna sell. I am gonna sell 
the oranges. I have some coconuts already in my inventory, just, or in my storage, just for cooking. Not gonna worry about that now, though. Okay, so the trash will keep. Yeah, keep that sturgeon right here and confirm. And that's gonna be another extra 9,500 bells. So we're sitting pretty well, over 70,000, almost 72,000. Pretty cool. Okay, so let's make a quick donation of a sturgeon right here. Here you go, buddy. Ooh, why, this is a sturgeon. Yep, I would love to hear more about the sturgeon. Wonderful. The sturgeon is a large and long-lived lived river fish which has changed little in the last 300 million years. One curious behavior of theirs is leaping high out of the water and falling back in on their sides. The smacking sounds of their re-entry can be heard for up to half a mile away, likely more underwater. No one knows why they do it, but it I, but I like to think it's their impression of bread popping out of a toaster. And there you have it. Fascinating stuff, no? It definitely is fascinating. So, there is one more. We are going to say never mind for now. And we're gonna head out. So I just need to bury the gyroid, and I think we're all done with that. And we could also donate some to ABD. But yeah, it's been a fun episode. Lots of progress made all over the place. And there is still, of course, plenty of progress to make everywhere else. So. <laughs> We'll work on it, it just takes time. We already have a hole open for this, so I might as well just pop that dry right in there and then water it up. Perfect. And then grab the watering can right here. Excellent. Okay, now we're running to the town center. Okay, so everybody's cleaning up. Do we have anything in here? We have a little sapling, I'll take it. And, um. Uh, I don't think there's really anything we need to interact with them for. We get 100 bonus miles, that's always fun. I'm doubting that there's anything too much in here that I want. Oh, actually, I don't know if I have some of this corrugated iron fence, so I'll take that. And the other block fence, I might have, I might not have. <laughs> we'll just get it just to be careful, to be sure. Yeah, it doesn't seem to warm me, so I hope that means that we don't have it, but there we go, block fence. We're still 40,000 miles, if not anything else. It's no big deal, you know? And what else do we have here? Uh, hmm. Nothing out of the ordinary there. Or novelties, but we're gonna leave those. And what about the Nook shopping? We got all the Mario stuff, but there still might be other things. We got a Nintendo Switch, which I think we've already bought that before. KK Aria. I don't know if I have this one, actually. Let me check. So yeah, we already have this one, so we'll be leaving it. Uh, beyond that, got all the promotion Mario stuff. Nothing else there, and we have that. Okay, so lastly, that just means we need to donate some extra cash. We probably don't need anything more than 15,000, so. Deposit. Okay, so. Actually, yeah, we'll just leave ourselves with 10,000. I think that'll be fine. Nine, six, and zero. There we go. So we are over 900,000 bells. That means we are only 250,000 away. So hopefully in the coming episodes, we'll be so close to finish finishing paying that off. That'll be awesome. But I think that just about wraps up for everything in today's episode. There's lots to do. There's just so much to do in this game at this point. It's crazy. And I try my best to keep up with everything. But, you know, we're in it for the long haul, right? So that being said, that is gonna wrap it up for today's episode of Animal Crossing New Horizons. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.